<laughs> morning y'all this is holistic health coach Vicki Mitchell and yeah I don't know if you can read my shirt but it says create your bliss and one of my things is cooking I get great bliss from the kitchen and I want to show you a recipe and the recipe I want to show you is how I do sweet potatoes and how you can perk it up a little bit and it's a recipe that's actually in the chapter of my book the my cooking crew in heaven and this new book that's come out and I'm so excited to be a part of it's called the invisible thread true stories of synchronicity with Sunny Don Johnson and friends so I want to show you how you can cook a little bit cook more than you need and then you'll freeze the leftovers so let's get started the first thing I do is I wash my sweet potatoes and then um, this time I'm not cooking a whole lot so it fits in actually one of my ceramic dishes but do you notice that I have water that fills um, that goes up a quarter to a half of the way of the potato that's critical because that helps it steam bake and that makes it really really moist and delicious so the next thing I do is to help it steam bake I always put a cover on it so you just put the cover on it now while I'm washing the sweet potatoes I'm actually preheating my oven to 350 and what I'll do is I'll put these in a preheated oven for an hour to two hours. And what you'll do is you'll notice the, the kitchen, the house will smell like sweet potatoes. So that's when you check it and you want it to be soft to the touch. Now, let's say you have bigger sweet potatoes that won't fit in this. That's okay. Sometimes I have... Um, sweet potatoes that are almost like the size of my forearm. So what I do is I put them in a roasting pan, fill it, wash it, put them in a roasting pan, um, put some water in it, and then I'll have saran wrap over it. And the bigger the potatoes, the longer it will take. Now these are kind of small potatoes, so I'm going to um, check them after an hour, and I'll be back. Now the cool thing about this is while these are cooking, I'm going to do some other stuff this morning. So I'll be back in a little while. Thanks. Okay, we're back. It's been a little over an hour. What I did is I pulled them out of the oven when the sweet potatoes were soft to touch. And um, then I let them cool about 15 minutes so I could peel them in without getting my um, hands burnt. And this is actually what it looks like. And it's soft and moist. And then what I do is I just take a spoon and I literally just mash them and mash up quite easily. You, um, I just love the soft, creamy texture. It makes me think of um, comfort food. So you just mash that. And what I do after I mash my sweet potatoes up, I always cook more than I think I need for the day. And I put them in individual serving sizes. Now, my son doesn't do nuts. Um, and he just likes them just this way. And you look, it, it, it actually looks like mashed potatoes, um, mashed sweet potatoes. So what I do is I just scoop some out and you can either um, use it for the day or these are great to freeze in. Um, you let them cool off before you put them in the refrigerator. And... Um, um, and then what you don't use, you freeze. Now, in this bowl, I know I'm going to make the special recipe that I talked about in the Invisible um, Thread book in my chapters called My Cooking Crew in Heaven because I totally get inspiration and help from many people, including my past loved ones. And this one the recipe has been inspired by my mom. My mom loves sweet potatoes, pecans, and um, um, cinnamon. So what I did is I'm gonna 
But what I did is I put some ingredients into this single serve container. I have cinnamon and what I do, I buy cinnamon in bulk and then put it in the glass jars. One of my favorite um, companies is Blue Mountain Organic Stone Ground Pecan Butter. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just soak your pecans and then rinse them and you soak them for eight hours and then you low roast them in the oven. But this just saves some time. If you want some chunkiness instead of creaminess, add just the nuts instead of the butter. And then I have a little bit of, of um, coconut oil. And uh, so I have a eighth of a teaspoon of um, cinnamon, uh, let me see, a half a teaspoon of, um, of um, um, I don't know what that's called. I get so excited sometimes I can't think. Um, pecan butter, and then I have like a teaspoon of coconut oil. So if I do this, when the, the mixture, the sweet potatoes are actually a little bit warm, so I'm just going to put a whole bunch of sweet potatoes in that. And then you just mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. It smells delicious. You've got your carb, you got your protein, you got your cinnamon so great and anti-inflammatory. So I have the recipe um, in the description. And I want to encourage you, well, maybe this doesn't, maybe you don't like pecans. Maybe you like sunflower or walnut better. So what I do is I teach my clients just to use recipes as like a foundation and really modify it to your taste. So until next time, um, I encourage you to really get in the kitchen and experiment and have fun with it. Um, also down below is the link to purchase the Invisible Thread book with my Amazon affiliate. I hope you enjoyed this and love, light, and laughter. If you like this video, share, um, like, or subscribe. Until next time, this is Vicka Mitchell. Have a great day.